In this video, we're going to go over an example of how to calculate the t-test statistic for a correlation coefficient. Essentially, we're going to see how we can take an observed correlation, which basically just describes the relationship between two variables in a sample, and how we can take that to see if we believe that a correlation actually exists in the population. Essentially, this t-test asks, do we have reasonable evidence to conclude that among all people, the correlation, the relationship between these two variables will be significantly different from zero or not? So at this point, I'm going to pause to say that in this video, I'm not actually going to calculate the correlation. You'll see that the data we have here are actually from a previous video where we did learn to calculate the correlation coefficient. I'm going to link that up here. And what I want you to do is, if you're at all uncomfortable with calculating the correlation coefficient by hand, go and review that video, get the practice in, and make sure you can do that. Because as you can see from this formula, being able to calculate the correlation coefficient is sort of a prerequisite for being able to calculate the t-test statistic for a correlation coefficient. It'll also be good to review that video to just uh, review what these numbers are all about and kind of how we got to the point of knowing what the correlation is, which I'll remind you was 0.62. Okay, so now let's use that correlation coefficient, that 0.62, to solve this problem, to calculate the t-test statistic. In the numerator, we have the correlation, 0.62, times the square root of our sample size, n, minus 2. What's our sample size here? It's 6, right? We have 6 different people in the study. If I were to kind of calculate my index column and number people off, you can see that there's 6. Don't get fooled. Just because we have 12 numbers here, it doesn't mean there's 12 people in the study. Each participant is measured twice in a correlational study, once on variable x and once on variable y. So in this case, we have 6 people in the study. Here's Bob's data, for example. Here's Sally's data. Here's Anne's data, and so on. So we have 6 minus 2. In the denominator, we have the square root of 1 minus our correlation squared, 0.62 squared. And if you were to plug all this into a calculator, you would get 1.58, and that's your t-test statistic. It's as easy as that. I'll tell you that p would be about 0.18 here if you did this in a statistical software. It wouldn't quite reach the less than 0.05 threshold. It wouldn't quite be significant. Even though this is a very sizable correlation, our sample size is so tiny that the t-test realize here that n is part of this formula. The t-test isn't really convinced by this strong correlation because it doesn't have quite enough data to be convinced, right? So if the correlation stayed the same and it was 0.62, but we had 100 people in our sample, n was 100, this numerator would be much larger, our t-test statistic would be much larger, and the p-value would definitely be less than 0.05. But in any case, we're going to get rid of that for now because we have our t-test statistic. The last thing I'll mention here is our coefficient of determination. So remember, the coefficient of determination is this guy right here. It's just your squared correlation coefficient, and it tells you the percentage of variance that you're accounting for in one variable on the basis of the other. It tells you, essentially, what percentage of the story are you explaining? How much of the picture are you capturing? So in this case, I can uh, just do it really quickly because it only takes a moment. The coefficient of determination would be 0.62 squared which would come out to approximately, you'd have a little bit of a decimal uh, behind this uh, two values here, but it would be about 0.38. So we're accounting for 38% of the variance in x, for example, on the basis of y. And that's how you calculate a t-test statistic for a correlation coefficient, as well as the coefficient of determination for that correlation.